Senator Ted Cruz being blamed, or rather blaming Democrats and President Trump himself for the legal and the political troubles that are now swirling around the White House. Cruz was in North Texas today, and as political reporter Jack Fink explains, he says he's focused on jobs and the economy. What I'm trying to do is just ignore the circus. Texas Senator Ted Cruz reacting to the controversy surrounding President Donald Trump. Now in the fifth year of his term, the senator told the Irving Las Colinas Chamber of Commerce he hasn't seen Washington this bad. There are a great many people in Washington that want the Trump presidency to fail. Aside from blaming Democrats, he also pointed to the president himself. And unfortunately, some of the damage is self-inflicted. I wish that were not the case. Senator Cruz praised former FBI Director Robert Mueller's selection as a special counsel overseeing the investigation into potential ties between Russia and the president's campaign. But Cruz didn't agree with the decision. I don't think it was necessary to appoint a special counsel. The problem with special counsels is, is history has shown that often special counsels, there becomes a mandate that you've got to go find something. Do you believe that the president's self-inflicted damage, okay, is blowing the opportunity that Republicans have. I, I think we have an opportunity to deliver. Cruz says he's working on passing to repeal and replace Obamacare in the Senate to lower health premiums and on tax reform. He supports renegotiating and expanding NAFTA by opening Mexico's energy markets. If we could open those up so that Texas companies can come in and develop those resources, that could produce thousands of jobs in Mexico, help, help the people of Mexico, and also produce thousands of jobs here in Texas. While Senator Cruz says he isn't getting distracted by the tweet of the day, he said he does praise President Trump's policy, saying he's done very well with them. Cruz also says he doesn't think the president's agenda is dead on arrival because of the special counsel. Ken? Yeah, Jack, let me ask you something. In your conversation with Senator Cruz, uh, do you get the sense at all that he thinks Obamacare uh, will repeal and replace and that tax reform will pass this year? Well, Senator Cruz says if Obamacare repeal and replace does pass, he believes chances for tax reform will jump dramatically. On the other hand, he says if Obamacare repeal and replace doesn't pass, then he says the chances for tax reform will drop very significantly.